Stray 50 Hz voltages in cow sheds are known to upset stock and reduce milk production. What's less well known is that even in more modern installations, variable speed drives can also produce stray voltages. Sometimes their origin is difficult to detect, but once identified, easy to fix. Steve Corkle explains. Stray voltage is actually a very broad term. It's probably a false term. It really means the effect on cows from voltage-related equipment. And it can be in many forms. It's, um, the basic form is what we call neutral related stray voltage and that's where a voltage is at the switchboard can't get back to the transformer and goes via the steelwork and therefore by the cows back to the, the, uh, the transformer. A cow is 15 times more sensitive at least than a human to stray voltage and if the cow can feel the stray voltage she will retain her milk and when she retains milk then you get the bugs working and then you up goes your somatic cell count, ultimately mastitis. The modern dairies more and more, have, they've got good power supplies, they're bigger, they have their own transformers, it's taken away the neutral effect type stray voltages and now we have this harmonic stray voltage as it comes from switch mode power supplies and variable speed drives and this is a totally different type of stray voltage. So stray voltage is a very broad term. Right, eh? Right, eh, Grant, I'll show you what I've found wrong. The equipment to look for in relation to these harmonic voltages are any form of switch mode power really supply, which could be your pulsator power supplies or, or any of the automated equipment power supplies, and they need to be well filtered, and then variable speed drives are the obvious one. They do it not only in their rectif rectification of the voltage, but also when they're putting out the voltage to the variable speed motors. We go around, and we get away around here. And we're finally back to where it should be, back at 61 millivolts. So it's quite easy to fix and fairly cheap to do. The issue would be in pretty much every shed to a degree. But it's a matter of whether it meets the tolerance point. There's a tolerance point to where the cows are more sensitive to it. And if it's under the tolerance point, then it's not really any issue. And, and the higher that you go with the stray, the stray voltage, this harmonic voltage, the greater the effect. With the two different types of stray voltage, with the neutral related one, the cow won't want to step across a particular point or won't want to touch two points because it's a potential difference point. So she's getting, it's like putting your tongue on a nine volt battery, she'll feel it across the point. With the harmonic one, it's more like when you slide out of a car and reach back and get a, a, back, a whack off the door handle. It's more of a electrostatic discharge. And, that, and be remembering a cow's 15 times more sensitive than a human. Out. It's a real shame, eh? You see a nice shed like this and simple stuff, stuffing it up. And these jokers are having a hell of a fight with their cows. I'm the sales manager of Corkill System, so I run the sales side of things. Being a farmer, it's very helpful yeah. knowing cows and, and being able to diagnose problems. My first contact normally on a stray voltage shed is a, is a phone call from the farmer that's got problems. Um, Sometimes I can sort it out over the phone, or most times I can do that. So mm. it has to be related to the multiple. Yep. This unit that I'm using is a scope meter, and it'll measure EMC voltage. It's a very fine unit. They're $10,000 a piece. We've actually got three in our company, and I think there's only another couple around in the country. So there's probably only four or five in New Zealand. Essential because it's an indicative reading of what's going on, and I can do it quickly walk around the shed and, and pinpoint onto and see exactly where the CMC voltage is. Okay, we're in front of a variable speed drive that's running at the moment on a, on a vacuum pump. And if I put my thumb on again here, you can see I'm actually picking up some of the frequency that's being emitted from the drive. So instead of reading at 60 millivolts, we're actually reading 58, but the width of the screen has gone up dramatically. So that's, the, that's a sign of what's actually floating around in here. Now, if we go on to this drive, you can see it's right off the scale of my scope meter. So this is emitting a large amount of voltage, and I actually have to go up in the scale to two volts, and it still gives me a full screen at two volts. So I have to actually go to five volts, and it's on the motor as well, before we can get a decent reading. So this is affecting the cows right through the shed, now this drive is a new drive and it's most probably 
correctly filtered for the job. We don't know without pulling it apart to have a look. But what we're showing here is the installation hasn't been done correctly and that's what's magnifying the voltage and affecting the chaos. So what it's really showing Steve is the voltage from those drives is in the electrical system in the wiring. We upgraded the whole cow shed and uh, put a whole new plant in and everything and up till then it had been fine but we started noticing a couple of weeks after the new plant was in milkings were getting slower not faster as they were right at the start. Gave them a ring and uh, said can you come up and test my shed something's not right here and uh, put the meter on and she went off the scale <laughs> so there's your problem. So uh, the drive unit was out that day later on that afternoon told them to get it out and a uh, new one went in and within a week things started settling down again. Cell count was first, come back just to average and just sat there. Yeah, so that's a lot lower than you used to be, Andrew, it would be a big yeah. difference to your cows. Yeah. Yeah. Go through the shed nicely now. Yeah, just... The key thing I think for farmers to watch out is to make sure that the equipment being supplied meets the regulations, Get insist on the conformity documents, make sure that the electrician installing is aware of the little things that need to be done that are special, especially regarding dairy sheds. And there is a new code of practice that will become available that lays it out very clearly. But the, all manufacturers or suppliers are obligated to supply all of those same instructions and always have been. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.